Hey, this is George and my friend, and we're going to be like dip dyeing a hair. So um, just stay tuned if you want to see how to dip dye your hair. Okay, so basically, um, her hair is like medium length. So we're just going to start by bleaching it because it's quite it's quite brown, and you want the color to show up. So I'm going to bleach it. So this is our bleaching sachet things we have, and you have to buy the peroxide cream peroxide separately which is really sneaky so we're just going to mix some of this up in a plastic cup and it's nice to use a spoon but um i have a knife so i'm just going to open we're going to improvise yeah we're going to use plastic cup and we're going to mix it in here mix it up we're going to mix it up right I'm going to open this oh, by the way it says do not inhale always read the instructions before using stuff. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna pour it in my cup. Oh, it's blue. Right, so we have that. And then we're gonna add the full thing of the cream peroxide. Like so. I'll put my gloves on in a bit. I'm not actually touching it yet, so I don't have to put my gloves on. Ugh, it's all creamy. And yeah, if your hair's dark, obviously bleach it. But if your hair's like blonde, I don't. You still should bleach it if you want the color to come up. But if you're going darker, then don't bleach it. But if you want like pink, then bleach it. Right. I'm guessing you have to mix this now. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to take my spoon. Well, my knife, and go to mix it. Hmm. Oh, it's so weird. Okay, so after that, we have to put Vaseline on her ears. It's petroleum jelly. It's so it um. Oh, should I take my earrings out? It, yes, take your earrings out. It's so it doesn't um like cause irritation. So it should I put on your hairline. On your hairline. Okay, I'm gonna put your hair up. So this is the petroleum jelly. Just use any Vaseline, but make sure it's the petroleum jelly one. And then don't use like a weird scented one. Don't use a weird scented one, no. Okay, so just put it on your hairline. With my finger. Put a fair amount on. Put my ear as well. I can't cheat on my ear. I don't want my ear burning. It's <laughs> off. Okay. So we're also going to do the whole hairline. Just, just in case it comes into irritant contact. Okay, so first we're going to do, well first we separated her hair into like bits. You don't want it, because it's not meant to be like neat, it's meant to be like quite messy, so here's just a little bit. So I'm going to take a bit of tinfoil, we're going to do the first part, which is lower down. So we're going to say about an inch, an inch, do you think? A couple. A couple inch, like yeah, there. Inches. We're going to do about there, which is a couple inch. And you're going to need tinfoil because it helps the colour stay. Like yeah, it's going to help the colour stay and stuff. So basically, there. And then, okay, or where the tinfoil goes. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's about more than enough. And then you're going to take a brush like this. It's a hair dyeing brush sort of thing with a pointy end. And you're going to take some of your bleach. Get quite enough on there. Not on your face. Do you want me to hold the... Yeah, hold the pot. It's That's useful if you have two people doing this. Yeah, one pot holder, one brusher. And then, literally, we're going to start from top downward. Literally, brush the bleach on. Like so. Always wear gloves. That's probably enough for the first set. Is that enough for the first set? Or do you want higher? Um, yeah, that should be enough. You think? You, you are the expert, Tara. Okay, I'm just checking with you. Right. I don't need a bit higher, I don't mind. A bit higher? Okay. A tiny bit, not much. Yeah. Yeah, it shouldn't be like neat. It should be quite messy. You want to get most of the hairs covered. Yeah, you want to get, no, you want to get all the hairs covered. All the hairs covered. So it doesn't look silly. And then you're just going to... Scrunch it, really. Yeah. Fold it up. Like so. And then that's your first bit done. And then, like that. And then it says on the packet you have to look like from your hair colour. And here it says medium brown. It well, says twenty to sixty minutes. So but we don't want it to go bright. We don't want it to go bright. We don't want it to go bright, bright blonde. So we're going to probably have it for half an hour and then check. And then twenty if it's minutes. 
maybe 20 minutes and then if it's not light enough we'll keep it on for longer so just keep checking so now i'm going to do the same for all the hairs right so this is what it looks like at the moment we have one two three four five pieces of tin foil um basically just you just scrunch them on and like you don't have to do it evenly so make sure like when you put it on it's not like a line you can like gradient gradient it and then yeah so we're going to wait about 10 20 minutes and we'll tell you how it looks from there right so we've left this on for about 12 15 minutes and then we're going to take it off because we quite like the color so i'm just going to take all this off and then you can see the color it's like it's like gone like quite light brown and then so we're going to take all these out and then gonna rinse. we're going to rinse it and then we'll show you the color once we've rinsed it Okay, so we've taken out the first bit, and as you can see, it's quite light, it's like light brown, but it's going to get lighter, because basically, we're going to do another bit, but we're going we're gonna to tinfoil more, so we're going to do about that much, so it gives the ombre effect, so it'll be lighter down here, and it'll gradually get darker back to a natural colour, so we're going to do that now. So, again, taking the hair dye, not hair dye, bleach, bleach. We are going to use obviously more. Right now, you tell me how much you want. Okay, I want quite high. Is that high? I, I want it kind of to just below here, actually. Like just here? Just here? Yeah. Okay. So we're going to bleach this whole bit here, taking a brush and just dive from the top down, getting every bit of hair so that you don't leave any out. Back down to the bottom that has already been bleached. Like so, making sure you're getting also behind here. And this time, we're probably going to leave it for about 15 minutes, just so you can actually see the difference and stuff. And take your finger, smudge it up a bit, so it's not like a straight, neat line. Just like that. Okay, and now we're going to tie that back up. No, scrunch it up, like so. So fold it if you want, it's shorter, it's really easier, like so. And now we're just going to leave it for 15 minutes and then we'll tell you the result when it's done. Okay, so we bleached it and I washed it and everything, but it's drying. It went a nice colour, it, it went actually my colour. So when we dry it, we're going to show you the colour. So if you want, if you have brown hair and you want lighter ends, you won't actually need a hair dye, you'll just need the bleach, but don't leave, don't leave it in for more than 15 minutes and stuff. But if you want to use like a pink colour in it, then bleach your hair before. So, this is the finished result. As you can see, it's much lighter, and it goes as an gradient, so it's not like... blonde and then brown. It's actually it like... Natural. It's natural, it actually looks really natural. Give us a smile! I'm surprised how I managed to do this. Thank you. It's okay. And yeah. It's really in. It's really good for autumn, and it's not too like it's not out there. Either. It, it's not expensive. All you need is some bleach, which is like it was five like pounds? yeah, five pounds from Boots, and so yeah, that's the dip dye ombre style. Bye.